Hey, my friends, welcome back to Explore With Your Tour. Uh, part two of our compassionate, respectful communication versus violent communication. One piece that I want to make clear is that this is a model and we expressed our feelings first. And in this video, we're going to go over expressing our experience. Uh, at the end of the series, I'll put it all together in one streaming form so you can see it real time uh, and how it looks compared to a normal or typical violent communication. So for me, the importance of expressing our experience is to give voice to what is true for us, to give voice to the experience that we are having through our subjective lens and through our perception of reality. All of the experiences that we've had through our whole lifetime, for me, show up in each moment. So when we're having an experience of the present moment, it's helpful to own that so that we can see it in ourselves. This is truly my experience to own. This is what I'm seeing happening. This is how I'm experiencing this behavior. It puts the ownership and responsibility onto us, which reduces the amount of ownership we're projecting onto the other person. Is this always going to be taken well? Is this always going to turn out in a very soft, compassionate, respectful conversation? Not my experience. However, the opportunity that we have here in terms of using compassionate, respectful communication is an opportunity to learn about ourselves and potentially uh, model the behavior that we're looking to invite into our lives and model that to the outside world. As my good friend Gandhi once said, we must be the change or something like that. So what I'm saying here is as we're modeling this behavior, we're learning this for ourselves. We're learning how to respectfully communicate, compassionately communicate, and express our feeling first, and then move into our experience. So we'll go through that in this video and hope y'all enjoy. You never help around the house. I'm always cleaning up after you. You do realize you get mad about everything. It's my experience that the house is a mess quite frequently and there's something inside of me that feels like I, I need to clean it up all the time and I'm really curious about that. Based on my experience, it seems like you get mad quite frequently and I'm curious about that. You take so long to get ready. We're always late because of you. You're always playing video games and watching football. You never have time for me. Based on my experience, it seems like you take a long time to get ready. And it seems as if we run late to things quite frequently uh, because of that. Now, I don't know if that's true. I'm simply sharing my experience. Based on my experience, it seems like you're playing video games and watching football quite frequently. And it brings up something into me, in, in me. And I'm really curious about what that is. Some other quick invitations to notice about communication in general, whether it's your feeling, your experience, or what we're going to get into next is what that means for you. Where does that root come from, what you're experiencing in the present moment? Is to be really mindful of your tone of voice, your body language, uh, and also your facial expression. To be mindful of that. How are you subtly communicating as well? Not simply just the words that you're using and uh, potentially responsibly choosing, but paying attention to what's coming through that's, that you're not seeing. 
How is your body language? What is your facial expressions? Um, what is your tone of voice? All of those are cues that give you more insight to what's really going on inside of you. It also gives cues to the other person and how they're going to experience uh, what you're sharing. Now, I'm not saying it's your responsibility for what they're experiencing. However, remember maybe that this gets quite subtle in terms of energy, uh, communication, the subtleties that are here. So it's not simply the words that are being chosen. It's also the, in, in quotes, the energies behind the word what's really going on inside of you. Giving more voice to what's really going on inside of you through this model can be helpful in your communication with yourself uh, and with others. So to be, pay, to be mindful of your communication, your tone, your facial expression, your body language, and what you're feeling on the inside and, and slowing down our communication can be very helpful uh, to respectfully and compassionately communicating. Thanks for checking this out, and I look forward to the next time we all get to share. Mm -hmm.